Hey, what's up guys? Neo here again with Gadget Hacks. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to remove certain stock iOS applications and features natively without the use of jailbreak. So to get this started, let's navigate to the settings application. From here, look for general, then access restrictions. If this is your first time, you might have to tap enable up at the top. Now from right here, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can go through and toggle off the applications you no longer want to see or use on your device. So I can remove Safari, camera. Now if I remove camera, FaceTime won't work, so it just lets me know that. I can also remove the iTunes Store, which I rarely use. And I can remove Podcast. These are the apps that you can remove from the device. And once you get the iOS 9 update, you'll be able to remove the newsstand replacement simply titled News. So with all these toggled off, the services will be disabled as well as the app icons. So as you saw, I was able to remove the iTunes Store, the podcast application, as well as Safari, which you can't see anymore. I can remove the camera and FaceTime, which I might use, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show it off. Although this did remove some of the stock applications you might never use, I'm sure there's other ones you want to remove like Tips or Apple Watch. So for that, check out our other video on how to remove those using an iOS glitch. Back in the restrictions preferences, you may have noticed some other toggles like AirDrop, which you can toggle off, as well as iBooks iTunes Store. Now just be aware this will not remove the iBooks application, just the store portion of the application within it as well as the Apple Music Connect tab, you can remove that. So if you look down below, I no longer have the Connect tab, which I never want to use. And within the iBooks application, I no longer have the iBooks store. If you do have books though, you'd be able to see them. As you can tell, I have none. And since we toggled off AirDrop, you'll notice that I no longer have it available as a sharing option. And if I bring up my control center, it's absent from there as well. Also, check out our other videos like how to remove the labels from your folders, how to get rid of the newly introduced Apple Music section in your music app on iOS 8.4, or check out the video on how to remove the orientation lock from the control center. So for more details and a bunch of other tips, check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you can get some more GadgetHack videos now. Alright, thanks guys. 